Mike, were you really sick this week? What was the problem? I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back, back is broken. What por a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. Get down, get down. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Incoherence. As you well know, um, today we are going to be doing something a little bit different in that um, we are, we're actually making like a channel update type video. And I have done these in the past, but never with any sort of like, you know, regularity. I guess there was never like a commitment made. <laughs> I never got down on one knee and proposed that I actually do these regularly. I never um, made like a PowerPoint presentation with this idea in mind, which is something that I would like to change moving forward. Um, not the PowerPoint part, but rather the commitment part. Um, I would very much like to do more regular channel updates. And I mean, it's it's perfect opportunity considering that we have just had um, New Year's Day. The new year has begun. And with that in mind, let's just take a side moment here. Um, I hope your holidays were good. And uh, if they weren't, Please, tell me how shitty and depressed you are down below. Um, <laughs> no, don't do that. I, I hope your... I really, truly hope your holidays were good. Mine were actually quite, quite excellent. So I suppose the first thing I want to talk about today is the actual structure and format of these videos. As you can see by the overlay slash underlay around me, I've, I've kind of put a little bit of thought into this. So to my uh, right, your left, there are a bunch of timestamps. I feel like <laughs> I'm like that, uh, oh, is it Drake? Oh, shit. Hotline bling, you know that meme? Like, and that's what I feel like. Um, anyway, to your left, there are a bunch of timestamps. And the reasoning for this is that I am cognizant that there are many, many people that don't really watch channel update videos. And if they do, channel update videos tend to be, they don't have a structure. They tend to be just rants. And, um... So I've put this in place as a structure so that you can watch what you are interested in and watch what you were not, wait, no, and not watch what you're not interested in. You can just kind of pick up what you like, discard what you don't, and then everyone's a little bit happier. And I think it just makes these videos a little bit clearer instead of just, as I said, an unstructured rant. We have a sort of more professional point by point, I don't want to say analysis, but a point by point, uh, uh, you catch my drift. The second thing I want to talk about today is actually a schedule. I have finally codified and formalized my upload schedule. It's sort of been in the wind for, you know, many, many moons, many years. And I finally, finally actually formalized the schedule. So the second thing I want to talk about today is actually, as you can see, the schedule. I have... <laughs> I have finally codified and formalized the schedule. So the idea here is that I've created an image that uh, has all of the series I'm currently running on it, so on and so forth. And this image will be in the about section of the channel. So if you go to the channel page, head on over to the about section, boom, there's a link in there so you can view the schedule. But it will also be in the descriptions of every one of my videos. So going forward, I would like to regularly change out the image and update the schedule so that we there's no confusion as to as to you know what I'm going to be uploading. Um, and I recommend you go check that out right now. As you will see with your human eyes, uh, there it's a two slot schedule for the moment. There's a slot one and slot two. So my goal is two videos a day, Monday through Saturday. Uh, possibly some videos on Sunday, just some random shit if, if I have anything. Um, and moving forward, I would very much like to do more Flash series. For example, the uh, Kurash, Cyrus the Great, Persia, Europa, Im Imperialis. That series, that was a week-long series that I did. And that's kind of what, it, what in my mind I call a Flash series because it's just like seven parts. It's sort of like medium length, I guess. Uh, I want to do more of those. So there's a potential that there will be a third slot 
on those sorts of weeks. But also in the past, I have done um, one-off showcase videos where I talk about a new mod or a new game. And I just want to share that with you guys because it's unreal. I get so many emails with people just throwing game keys at me. But the problem is a lot of them are just fucking trash. Okay, there's a lot of iOS games. There's a lot of you know, shovelware, the shit they just throw on Steam, and then there's just a lot of games I'm not even interested in that somehow have ended, I've somehow ended up subscribed to these lists. But every now and again, I kind of find the diamond in the rough, and I want to show that to you guys. Not to mention, um, I actually stumble a lot upon a lot of, uh, a lot of games, because I just kind of scour certain social media platforms for indie titles. And again, I very much like to show those to you, so that would be part of the Showcase series. So that would just be a one-off. Uh, so so I, I guess you could think about it in this way. The showcase is a one part. That would be like a short series. The Flash series is like five to six parts. So that's a medium series. And then my regularly uploaded series. That's like a long-standing, long-running series. So on and so forth. Anyway, all of this will be located on the schedule. Check back regularly because I intend to uh, change it regularly. And I suppose if I do anything major change wise to the schedule I will probably make another one of these uh, you know channel update videos <laughs> the third thing I would like to talk about today is uh, something that I began to do a couple months ago and then just sort of forgot about until amazingly enough I was watching my own videos my own somewhat older videos and I suppose you could call this a call to action this is the you know it's that thing that uh, YouTubers do, and let me stop you there, I hate this stuff just as much as you do. That's It's, it's that thing that YouTubers do, they're really like, yo, hit that like button, subscribe and comment. Uh, they're like, subscribe, comment, and like, all that shit. Um, <laughs> that stuff, yeah, it does annoy me because a lot of people don't do it, in my view, properly. Um, unfortunately, the numbers and the research shows that that is actually a legitimate thing to do. It actually influences people to do all of those things. It influences people to comment, it influences them to like, and also influences them to uh, drink beyond their capacity and pass out in an alley in Sydney. No, uh, <laughs> it gets them to, to subscribe, essentially. Uh, so I think it's in my own best interest to do that. So there's two things I want to say about this. So first and foremost, I would, uh, my target is like the five to eight minute mark because my YouTube analytics tell me that is the average view duration, the average watch duration of any given video is five to eight minutes. So you could say per view on average, someone's watching eight minutes of that 30 minute video, which is another reason that I don't really go much longer than 25 to 30 minutes because you kind of get diminishing returns, but that's another topic possibly for another video. Um, I target that five to eight minute mark because, as I said, most people are there. Uh, YouTube tells you this in the tutorials. Maybe you guys aren't aware, but uh, the vast, vast, vast majority of people that are going to click away from your video do it within the first 15 seconds. Uh, 15 to 30 seconds. And in my case, on any given video, someone is... Like 50% of people click away in 30 seconds. Um, so... If you are watching the video five minutes in, the likelihood is you're going to be watching all of the video. Or the, you, you know, you're, you guys are doing the lion's share of lifting as, as to watch time. And truthfully, I could probably do the like, comment, subscribe thing at the 45 second mark and hit more people. The, uh, that I would actually hit the most people. Um, but there's no way in hell that I'm doing that shit at 45 seconds. You know, like 45 seconds and like, yeah, how about you fucking suck my dick and lick my balls while you're at it? Um, <laughs> so I think it's a, it's a fair compromise to hit that five to eight minute mark because that's my target demographic. Those are the people, you are the people that are actually watching my videos and giving me the feedback. And uh, as... Regarding the feedback, the reason it's important that people do it, again, maybe you're not aware, 
YouTube very much emphasizes things like watch time and feedback, um, primarily because there was an age of YouTube, um, perhaps it was before your time, there was an age of YouTube where there were um, lots of betitted women. <laughs> they were, you know, particularly buxom ladies, and they would um, pull their titties out and put them in thumbnails, and people would click on those thumbnails and click away within like five seconds, um, which is not particularly helpful to YouTube. They want you to stick around. They want you to watch those ads. So instead of emphasizing views, they've... Uh, been emphasizing watch time for many many years now um, Watch time primarily but feedback secondarily because if someone just watches a video that's 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 all right, but if someone leaves comments if someone hits the like button, you know that sort of thing It, it actually populates the platform like you could watch a video with a billion views But if it doesn't have any comments you'd kind of be like oh, what the fuck? it's like a ghost town in here You know you'd be a little You'd be a little uncomfortable, so they really want people to actually engage on the platform so that uh, That is helpful. It actually um, YouTube actually recommends videos and channels with more feedback uh, More often than channels without if you were to imagine a channel or video with the same amount of views They would actually recommend one with more feedback over the other because obviously this one is doing something extra to get people to put in that little bit of effort so I don't know it's like I said in my best interest to do that and I think I found a fair compromise but I would like to hear your opinions on that lastly I would just like to talk about a potential AMA or FAQ like an ask me anything uh, I've wanted to do it for a long time but never actually got up the gumption to do it like I was like oh maybe I'll do it at 3500 subscribers well now I got to do it at 3600 and we are now close to 38 hundred subscribers and it's something that I'm very much interested in doing but it's sort of arbitrary now <laughs> so I guess it's really a question of is that something that you guys are into are you into that shit um, I don't know I just kind of thought it would be fun for us to have a more regular conversation as opposed to you know just shooting the shit watching me play uh, medieval 2 essentially and then if it is popular we can actually go about formalizing that and, you know, doing an AMA because I think it would be fun. But anyway, I think that is about it for this video. Again, if you have any ideas as to the first, second, or third topic, feel free to leave a comment. I would very much appreciate any sort of feedback at all. Anyway, I suppose that is all I have to say today. As always, my name is Incoherence. You guys are fucking awesome. And I'll see you all later. God.